So while we're letting this board cool down now, uh, before we flip it over, uh, just a little deal here where I'm going to go into uh, explain a few things. I uh, we have the board that we just worked on up here, and then we have a secondary board here. Now this secondary board came from a computer store that's here locally to us in uh, the North Georgia Chattanooga area. And if you can't tell, it's actually a, a DV9000 board, but it doesn't have the discrete video on it. It has the Go uh, 6150 chipset on it. But what you can tell is, uh, if you look at it, the discoloration on this, and then the heat pattern up here, and then the actual damage to the jack. Um, now what we have, can't get into focus, but there's actually damage to that jack. Now, when a, when a reflow process is done correctly, you'll notice this black plastic up here, not even touched. Your heat and concentration is done on this chipset, and then this jack right here is undamaged. Uh, we'll just go for demonstration purposes. You have three individual parts here. And you can see those three individual parts. On this one, you cannot. You see a cutout where it's damaged. With that being said, that's as much damage or heat related that you get is right here. Where it causes the plastic to pull a little bit. This damage is actually from a hot air gun. That right there is from a hot air gun and then this is from a uh, hot air gun the discoloration and the actual separating of the chip. This is going to have to be taken off and reballed. You can tell no one did anything to this because the letters are still white right here. White letters, uh, relatively good looking chipset. The green is still green here where this is brown that'll tell you that it was actually heated up and can't really tell in the video but there's actually um, solder right here traces of solder being pulled and those solder traces that are pulled that means that these capacitors these right here capacitors were actually blown off the board and blown off of here but these are also capacitors right here uh, resistors and capacitors and any one of those could have been blown off and when that's done you might as well kiss your board goodbye because it's not going to work um, you can't fix that unless you're going in there with a pair of tweezers and uh, an overhead light and you have capacitors and you're planning on doing it by hand or this that, and other because you won't even know that it's gone once you start blowing them off. Um, but that's actually how you can tell the difference. Say if you're a repair shop or if you're an actual uh, person doing it or if you're planning on uh, using hot air to do that. Not a great idea. Not the best thing to do. Uh, I wouldn't do it personally just for the simple fact of what happens. And uh, this is how you can tell the difference. Just to uh, help with the video I just made, I actually uh, I'm doing a close-up on this um, chipset. So if you can tell, hopefully I won't vibrate this too much. That's what I was talking about with the broken jack. And then the streaking here, you can see it coming off. So the streaking coming off the uh, thing where the solder's at is the actual damage that I was talking about.